and that's through the covers. Good controlled stroke from Inzamam, just too short by Chris Martin. Faisal expensive, and that'll beat Bell to the cover boundary. Good pace this pitch. Edge and down. I think Nathan Astor has put him down. He has. Just as you're saying, he makes few mistakes. He makes one and he doesn't pay for it. It's 42 for two. That's a good shot down the ground for four. It's gone through mid wicket and that'll race away. It's four to Inzamam. Full toss and it's uh, put away by Inzamam. As he plays straight through the offside. Terrific stroke this. So effortless. I would have thought that when he played the shot, he was just uh, looking to get a little single to the onside. As uh, we prepare for the first ball of uh, day three. There it goes, the first ball of day three. Into the fence for four behind point. Loosener from Chris Martin. Not a bad way to start the day for a batsman. Got a good sighter of that one. And prepared to hit it. Lovely shot. He takes him on there and hits it too straight for Sinclair to do anything about it. Genuine half volley. It's gone 59 for two. Pulling this time. That's a beautiful shot from Inzaman. Too short from Daryl Tuffy. Last ball of the over. That is dispatched for four. 86 for two. Magnificent shot. He has just stood up tall and he has punched that through point for four. Not that bad a ball from Tuffy. Quite marvellous shot. Just a bit short there. And that's one place you don't bowl to in Zaman. It's going to go the whole way. Rolls over the boundary. Four more to in Zaman Al Haq. Again, picked beautifully off his pads. Again, just a bit short. It's a long chase for Richardson. And they'll pick up three runs, and that is 50 to Inzamam Al Haq. His 30th in Test match cricket, a very good one, too. After being out of the game for a little while, injuring himself early in the one day series, Inzamam Al Haq returns to the Pakistan side with very good effect. Just working the ball onside. Now, here's another one. Beautiful piece of batsmanship. Down the ground this time. And he has hit that very, very well. Slightly in the air, but never in doubt. Four runs results. It's 107 for two. Inzamam down the crease, and uh, he struck it very powerfully. Firmly dispatched between bowler and mid on. Down the pitch, Faisal, he's got it through. He's found the gap, that'll go to the boundary. Nearly uh, yorked himself here, but got enough power into the stroke. Wonderful shot through the covers. Just over pitching Daryl Tuffy. And in Zimam, he just waits and waits and pounces. It's gone through mid wicket. Just a little push, really. Nice bit of fielding. They're very committed, the New Zealanders in the park. The scrum does well. Saves one. 127 for two.
nothing too rushed or stressed about anything he seems to do. Walks out to practice, he walks in from practice, walks from end to end, slip to slip, and then smashes it through point for four. Cool, cool head. He's in compiling what is looking to be the very beginning so far. Mount Bradburn just giving a fraction of width. So lunch, a session that has belonged to Pakistan. They started the day at two for 65. They've had 66 runs without really any danger at all. Faisal Iqbal and Inzamam al Haq have done a good job. Brilliant stroke after the lunch. What did he have? Evans above. It's the back foot. And laced it through the covers. Now that was in the air, just suspected for a while. It's beaten the man at cover and gone through to the boundary. But not in total control. So 50 runs for Faisal. His second consecutive 50. With a drive in the air for some time to the left of cover. But it runs very quickly away towards the construction side of the ground here at Jade. No protection down at deep third man. Nice look, Bell, I think, knew it all along. 10 from that over, 148 for two. Wonderful use of the wrists. No one down there at third man. So boundary to end the over, 154 for two. In the end, gone. It's worked. The plan has worked. It's taken a while. Stephen Fleming, a good sharp catch. It's short cover, the patience ran out. The plan, yes, it took a while to come to effect, but it has. Well, there have been a few times during his innings that Faisal has just not quite got to the pitch of the ball and lifted it, although hitting it sweetly, and there it is once again. Faisal Iqbal. Just not getting right to that ball, lifting it to Stephen Fleming at short cover. He's out for 63. Pakistan 157 for three. That's three extra cover for four more. A little squarer than that, in fact. It's beautifully timed. He'll just wait in Zaman. He's got a little bit more patience than the young man that just left. Complaining about it to Craig McMillan, but you've got to have somebody in there. Catch. That's in the air, and that's through extra cover. The gap he's been looking for, he finds, but there was an element of risk. Just not quite to the pitch of this one, and it travelled in the air for quite some time. Slice of luck for Inzaman. A little bit of width offered from Daryl Tuffy. And that's speared over the top of the third slip region for four. Uh, lovely shot by Inzaman. Full pitch from Daryl Tuffy. That's gone the whole way. Chris Drum's chase was to no avail. And he didn't need any second invitation here. Down the wicket. Come down. 
He's created enough room for himself. Didn't get too close to it so he could swing freely. No one back there. Slower ball, looking for the single, and he'll get it. And Zaman completes his 13th a test century. 100 not out in Zaman al -Haq. boundaries just a little push on the offside his partner Johanna came through for him delighted the team respond yes a marvelous knock from Windsor man Mark Richardson is standing alongside Dave Crested for a lot of the time while Inzamam has been on strike. He's been back 30 metres on the same line, but no one's really tested him. That, for me, is an interesting theory. They've had him back, but he's basically been unemployed. Now, where is he now? The plan was there, but the man is up. It's 2.02 for three. Four more. Well, that's a lovely shot by Yusuf Johanna. Just drifting onto the pads, and up comes the 50 partnership. <laughs> 51 runs and 57 minutes. Excellent rate by these two tremendous Pakistan players. That's just pierced the gap. Great placement. And it's Johanna. He's taken one over square leg this time. He's gone through the covers. That's a beautiful shot. It really is just a little bit of width. The third boundary in the over. And Johanna is in charge of Astor. It's 216 for three. Now with the new ball, he just knows he's got to get the feet moving. Well, that's not a way, bad way to greet it, is it? Straight back down the ground, I and mean, already it's scuffed up a bit. And psychologically, what that does to a side, just the signals it gives, there's such an authoritative shot from Inzaman. Not been his strength today. He's gone quite square of the wicket, but this first ball he's just punched down the ground. Had another one to the list. That's a cracker of a shot. Races off the bat. Yes, this is the danger with the second new ball. Sometimes, whilst it can bring you wickets, it also comes off the bat a lot faster. Full shot down through mid off. That's a half volley, punished. McMillan will haul it in. And Drum is good in support. Lovely slip work in the outfield by the New Zealanders. <laughs> 232 for three. Daryl Harper says time. Gets you off the hook. You've got 20 minutes to think about it. And 20 minutes too for. Chris Trump to wonder whether he'll get a chance after the break. It's been Inzamam Al Haq. He has owned the second session. He's owned most of the day. His 13th Test century, well deserved. Magnificent. This has been the problem for the New Zealand bowlers. They have dropped sh too short too often, and that has just been picked off so easy for half a dozen. 239 for three. See, Inzamam just rocks back. 
and really the way he's been playing today that was easy for Inzamam al Haq. So before brand new ball and no third man and Yusuf Johanna is uh, terrific wristing the ball through the gaps particularly behind the wicket A very good batsmanship by Inzamam al Haq and a problem here, a very, very serious problem. This is Chris Drum. Now then, the shoulder, the right shoulder which he bowls with, and he is uh, not happy. This would be uh, absolutely tragic for Chris Drum on debut. He's landed right on the point of the shoulder and immediately rolled all the way over because... Uh, He's either popped it out, but he has not moved. And uh, look at this. This is a terrible blow. I see now the way that the physio has got his hand held up against his chest. It certainly indicates that it could be either a shoulder dislocation or a collarbone. But in, obviously in pain, Chris Drum, and that's a sad occasion for New Zealand. Chris Drum on debut, leaving the field injured. No run scored. The run scored here. And could be four of them. I was going to... I'm going to suggest that Jacob Oren might have dived at that one to try and pull it in. Thankfully, he didn't attempt. stroke here just got into line first and then drove through with the uh, full face wow well, there's a bit of swelling on this shot the swelling of Inzamam score a magnificent stroke this you see Inzamam's innings where he's scored his ones, twos, a couple of threes out there on the onside, and those fours right round the wicket. So Inzamam has been no specific area where he has concentrated his scoring. And you see from the New Zealand bowling point of view that last ball from Chris Drum, which was smashed through the offside off the front foot. And there on the back foot, he does the same again. Just forward a point. There's no respite for the New Zealand bowlers at the moment. Inzamam al Harkin full flight. And the same swelling of the partnership. 102 now. New Zealand will be very keen to get some ice on this. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Lucky. Edge and Fleming has taken the catch. Brilliant stuff from Martin. What a comeback. And that he's conceded two boundaries in the over. But he's broken through. The magnificence of Inzamam has come to an end. Well, here we see, I think, Chris Martin hitting the right length. Pulling Inzamam forward, getting the outside edge. Caught at second slip, and Chris Martin is pretty happy and relieved. And there's an excellent innings, a fine innings from Inzamam al Haq. 130 runs, caught Fleming, bold Martin, and Pakistan, 259 for four.